tournament. And what you see is that everyone's just sitting down and going Terran. Now, I don't want to start something really evil here, but what do you guys think about Terran being OP? Go ahead and post. There are a lot of people who say that yes, they are, and there are a lot of people who not. Uh, interestingly, I wanted to go ahead and talk about Four Degrees. He is the only Protoss in the entire game championships. So if you look at what he's doing, uh, if you love Protoss or you hate them for whatever reason, Death Ball, uh, two overpowered uh, shields, but I wanted to say that they are the only people, he's the only one representing the shield people in the game. Um, as far as the unit composition goes, I think everyone's pretty even. They're do going and doing the standard build. He's waiting for 150, should go ahead and plunk down his barracks soon. There you go. And 150 waiting there to go ahead and plunk down the gateway. So I don't think that is too much of a difference between both of them. There. He's already scouted this out, obviously knows that this is not here, and he should be routing down straight into his base. Uh, this SCV should be able to go ahead and actually hook back in and see everything that's building over here. So scouting's going down pretty fairly even. He's attacking here. Let's see if an SCV comes down to support. He does. I don't know whether this SCV will be able to go ahead and really deny this, but yeah, there, there comes the follower. And he just ignored him. He says, you can do what you want. Uh, the SCVs really scouted everything here, not anything happening. Uh, gas has been going, the cybernetics goes down at about 302. That's about 8 seconds delayed. So this, this timing's pretty fair, pretty even. And the probe and the SCV should ideally be able to go ahead and say hi to each other, unless he's going to put down a proxy pylon, which would be very interesting to see. I, I don't know why he would keep this probe here, unless he wanted to go ahead and actually develop a proxy pylon. So let's see what happens. This Marine's just going to be scooting around, checking everything over. Another Marine's just sitting down here. He's not gone on a second gas, and he's just developed the second gas and sees what happens. So let's see what's the expansion post this. There's just one Zealot which is Chrono Boosted, another Stalker that's getting Chrono Boosted. Now this would show that he might just push out for with a Stalker Sentry Zealot push to go and either take a Forge Expand or do a Push Expand. This SCV did nothing and we came back and that was just so worthless. Um, as far as the unit composition goes for the map this is pretty even this should be a little higher end but is not and that's about a fair number here and i think he's really building it up to go and develop a stronger uh, push out and there's five scvs and here comes the first stalker he checks around sees nothing another zealot standing here the probes just standing outside and this should be sufficient to go ahead and see whether there is any pressure and he sees nothing and he's gonna get sniped. He really? He's pushing with this? Okay. I don't know why that sea lord just died. And here comes the starport and something which is uh, we will see if do we see ravens or another banshee push coming down here? Barracks going down, another barracks, and the probe's going to put down a proxy here. Well, I'll we'll see if he can sustain this out of three gateways. I I I'm a little concerned about this. This is a three gate pylon. Ah, uh, sorry, nexus into a proxy pylon expansion-ish thingy here. So, yeah, well, let's see what happens. Uh, uh, it, this seems interesting. There's a sentry coming down here. Now, if the objective is to block off the main, that seems interesting. But if you look at what the unit composition has been, uh, there's a raven coming down here. There's a siege tech coming down here. 
and we would like to really see what's going to be part of the final build. Um, there is a robotics coming down a tad late at about 8. Uh, so this is definitely an unconventional build. But this, this might not Oh, if you can snipe that, that'd be interesting. But I don't see that happening too much. And yeah, this is this is just uh, too strong an army right now. Um, let's look at some other things like army supply. Yeah, worker supply is definitely overpowered. But that's just because this is just a one base Terran versus a two base ter uh, toss. And but. This is definitely overpowered, but this is an all-in. And guys, I want to go ahead and talk about why this is happening. Gunduiz literally paid, played ace. This is his sixth game in a row. He's hurt. He's pain. He really doesn't want to be playing these games anymore. Uh, and I think he's just going to push and say, you know what? I have this aspirin-deserving headache. And he wants to go we'll wait for about nothing he says you know what i'm just going to push through i'm just going to go ahead and end this game right now and let's see if he can support it because i don't see him really being able to support this siege on siege on here and there he goes and this should not be something which is building on uh, in a unit like this, if you look at the APM, this is this is the ending. This is about a bunker here. This nexus is down. Uh, if you look at developing, although he will go ahead and develop an immortal here, and I think he's chrono boosting it. I don't think he can sustain this at all. The banshee is giving sight, and the sight is sufficient for these guys to come in. Now that's. Uh, let's see if this is good enough. Oh, he did take that out. Interesting. If he loses this, he loses sight. But I think this, these are just too many units standing down here. No, yeah, he's just going to like push really hard right now. Oh, no. No, no. Oh no. And I think this is GG. This is, this is too weak. He's just losing units left, right, and center. The Immortals does doing massive, massive damage, but they're just gonna stand in front and tank everything. And if he, oh no, he couldn't get another shot here. And this turret's good enough to take out the stalkers and everything. And I think this is about the time where GG should be coming in. Because all of these guys just keep reinforcing. He's he's got reinforcements coming here, and his reinforcements are standing here. And there he goes, the GG. That's a great game.